Okay, so I didn't realise that the video had stopped recording. <laughs> so we're here in Libra, Libra season. Uh, excuse me, not Libra season, Scorpio season. I've got the 11. Yeah, Scorpio season, sorry. Um, in the month of November. Okay, so um, let's have a look then at the card of the base of the reading. Um, we've got the four of swords okay so we'll have a look at the kit we've talked about that about seven million times now so we'll not bother continuing with that remember it's about the structures and foundations mental structures and foundations okay we're going to be examining those um you know trying to achieve balance you know in the month of in the 11th month in the month of november okay so we have the interesting the high priestess and the hierophant we've had these we've seen these cards before so it seems that the theme of the month is yes again trusting our intuition and listening you know to what it is we should be listening to to listen to our own to listen to ourselves that's what's really important right now in the month of um november we need to be listening to ourselves and, and for you scorpio that's that's really your the message for the year for you isn't it you can live your truth or somebody else's and you really must trust your intuition you must face the fear and do it anyway okay you must engage with what you're experiencing and how that affects your reality and how that affects what you do the actions that you take so let's look at work and finances for for scorpio and for everybody else this is just general for the month of um november we've got the night oh gosh look at that so we, we, we we're, we're noticing the theme aren't we we're noticing the theme here we're understanding we're recognizing we're seeing that you know the the facing our fears of things is what makes it that's what we fear this is it's afraid we're afraid to do it we're afraid to push we're afraid to go out there when it comes to work and this is for you scorpio for everybody else um for whatever you're passionate about whatever's driving you um in the month of um november and in 20 and indeed in 2020 i mean we have these energies the nine of wands and we've got the eight of swords here so we know that the we've talked about both these energies previously in the previous um readings as well haven't we and we know that the um the what's this card here <laughs> the number nine is related to the hierophant and we oh, excuse me the hermit energy and we know that that's all about digging deep it's all about actively engaging with what's going on understanding where you how you're feeling inside what actively engaging with what's going on inside and recognizing that that comes from somewhere that these these these, these fears these 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 worries this nervousness about about business for you scorpio and whatever it is for you in for the rest of us in the month of um november 2020 the fear it comes from somewhere and again you know it's as if this toward the end of the year we're being asked you know after the summer we're being asked to further reflect aren't we on the things that we've been doing this year and the things that we've been building this year whether it be business whether it be relationships we've been asked to further reflect on on um on those where it comes from the root of this the root of the fear the root of the and and, and you know and the, this is really you lacking a huge amount of compassion for yourself with the eight of swords us lacking a huge amount of compassion for ourselves us not realizing that how we're sort of conducting things how we're conducting our life is really having an impact on our physical and emotional health and well-being our spiritual um, health and well-being and um, it's really important when it comes to work, Scorpio, and when it comes to November, everybody else, that we actually, we actually start to engage with this. I feel like it might be a time of illness. You know, people might be getting ill, poorly. You know, flus and you know colds and coughs and all that type of thing. It feels like that type of time actually in November, um, and it definitely feels like you're being asked to sort of take some time out to rest in order to really understand and listen to your intuition so that you can really understand and listen to your intuition okay so love scorpio for the year wow this is the third time we've had this card i think and i've just spoke about the hermit energy so again same you know this is in love though so in work and in love and um, this year for you scorpio seems to be quite a um the message for you is obviously trust you into to trust your intuition but you really have to engage and understand with you have to engage with and understand where this comes from 
where this, these heavy emotions come from, what relationship was it, what situation was it in the past, what circumstance was it in the past, and how is it still affecting you now. When it comes to love for you, Scorpio, in 2020, this is what seems to be the issue. This is what seems to be the overriding issue. There's something that you've maybe not been able to hear before, and you've maybe not been able to fully fully face it once and for all to fully overcome something once and for all overcome a relationship overcome a past hurt or past trauma not hurt a trauma you know we call this card here the ptsd card for, for shorthand because that really is about an experience that, that we've had that have scarred us and that meant that we built walls um and yes that can be in work for you guys scorpio but also maybe there's a similar th situation that's gone on in love or in, in your romantic relationships and circumstances. And maybe, and that's something that this year you really want to get over. And I'm not saying, I'm not like get over it. I'm saying this is some means that you're going to be having situations and experiences this year that help you to understand and uncover the full impact of this trauma here, of these of this emotional baggage, of how it's affecting you. Um, and, and hopefully help you to overcome and transform. And how you do that, Scorpio, um, is that we li you listen to your intuition and for the rest of us this is really about in the month of november we can see that the the energy's got a little bit heavier and um, as we've moved through the year um and we really must it's about your truth about our truth about my truth about your authenticity this year for all of us and really that comes as i said as we keep saying from listening to your intuition and from from responding from from listening to what it is you want what it is that matters to you what it is you feel you know everything that is you that that you just can't see and touch you know this is what you need to take into account that all gives you wisdom um, and and not only does it give you wisdom, generally, look, we get success, you know. So for you, Scorpio, this is what I'm saying to you. It's a successful year for you because it, it's showing that you're going to have be having experiences that, that bring you into awareness and that help you to finally overcome and release things. And that's a beautiful energy to have as your general energy. This is your general energy, Scorpio. And for us all, you know, for the month of November, again, we will be feeling hopefully triumphant uh, by the end of the month of November because we've got this... Um, energy of the six of wands here so we know this is a card we call for shorthand the victory card it's number six again so it's it's about what you know about what you think it's about your perception it's about your perception and uh, you know it's about the as i always say about the number six about the appreciation the appreciation you have for all the experiences that you've had in life because all of those things make you who you are you can't reject a part of yourself because that person hurt you because you were lied to because you were uh, abused you can't reject that part of yourself that's still you that's still who you are and this is really about recognizing this year for you scorpio and this month for the rest of us november and um, it really is looking like a type of month where we're sort of again facing up to things that may be baggage that we've had that we've held on to for some time but then finally being able to finally overcome you know that's what it looks like and and that's the trajectory for your year um scorpio one of victory one of joy and for this month a difficult month to navigate looking like is is, is uh, november but for, for for the rest of us uh, it's looking like a difficult and challenging month to navigate but ultimately it's bringing us closer to ourselves it's bringing you closer to you it's bringing me closer to me because it brings us into that awareness and it asks us to trust our intuition to listen to be guided by what we're going to be guided by what everyone else tells us or what we feel is right hopefully what we feel is right because that is what's going to help us to come into awareness about this this emotional baggage or the traumas of our past employers or the things that happened previously for us professionally and it's going to lead us toward this victory okay so that's a beautiful message okay and finally we made it we made it to the 12th month um of 2020 the 12th sign of the calendar zodiac which is sagittarius we've made it to sagittarius we've made it to december and we are going to um have a look at what we get so remember you know the 12th house is all about your subconscious mind your hidden suppressed feelings and emotions confinement so feeling confined you know when we feel confined by our ideas by our perspectives as well 
um, hidden things that are hidden from us or things that we hide from ourselves from our own conscious minds secret headed and excuse me secret enemies or hidden problems the 12th house and the 12th month is related to the sign of pisces the planet of jupiter planets of jupiter and neptune and which neptune is about fantasy emotions mysticism deception and confusion and water which is all about our emotions isn't it so we have um auspicious good luck with jupiter uh we have um sudden change uh sudden so it might be that's why it might be surprise things because you know it's jupiter isn't it we're going to look at I feel like we need two cards for the for the month for all of us for the month of December what we can expect to expect in the month of December and then Sagittarius will look for you for love and general uh, and money but we'll also look for everybody as well okay so let's watch your general okay we made it we made it we made it okay there we go we made it okay so my darlings so we have got this <laughs> this is literally jupiter <laughs> that's hilarious you know this injection of new energy coming in you know this the surprises um hidden things um baby being brought out to light this is an injection of new energy with the with the um the eight of wands it's new karmic experiences brought about suddenly um maybe because of contact with somebody else or revelations um from other people or with that you're having within yourself spiritual revelations etc so it's that type of energy is the eight of um wands ultimately this energy the eight of wands is about having new karmic experiences or new karmic experiences suddenly being presented with that new energy in our lives because of the energy of the eight of wands okay so the overall key energy <laughs> could need i say more darlings need i say more i mean that is a tower isn't it that is a tower energy sudden and unexpected changes auspicious blessings is the tower uh, energy one of my favorite cards in the deck i always say and this energy really is about we've talked about it once before today but this energy really is about the the lives that you've built, the life that you've built for yourself and that there's something in it that's not authentic and this is where, or there's something in it that's, that's not serving you to your highest purpose, that, that's not serving your highest purpose and therefore there's a disruption in that. That could be that you're single and then you suddenly meet somebody and fall in love. It could be anything, it's a sudden shift in, 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 in circumstance but something that you've always maybe wanted or something that you've always maybe dreamed of or something that you have always been afraid of, or something like that, but it happening suddenly, and it really bringing about a, a shift, another shift. So, you see, we've got a very distinct. I can see the energy now. Uh, it's going to be an it's going to be an interesting year, twenty twenty, and we also have the chariot as our key energy. So we're expecting changes, but we're expecting changes which demand us to respond to them in an authentic way. This is our yin and our yang. This is our our divine feminine and our, and our divine masculine. Obviously, not depicted on these cards, but I I really talk about these cards when I talk about the chariot. But anyway, this is what this card represents. It represents the, the yin and the yang. It represents your divine masculine and divine feminine. And it talks about the balance, the balance between our actions and our motivations, what I do and why I do it. They've got to be balanced. They've got to be balanced from the authentic self, from the inner self. It should, it can't all be about, well, I've got bills to pay, so I've got to do this. This is saying you'll find it hard to move forward if you're... The chariot says, if you do not have those the motivation, the action and the motivation in alignment, you'll find it hard to make progress forward. So in this instance, when we get to November, when we get to December, everybody, and for you guys, for your year, um, Sagittarius, what you need to be thinking about is that the actions that you're taking are authentic. How you're responding is the truth you're being truthful in your responses because being truthful in your responses and being truthful with your actions and being authentic with your actions is what's going to move you forward Scott Sagittarius in the in the year 2020 and what's going to move the rest of us forward in in December 2020 okay so it's an interest looking like an interesting month 
um december it's looking like an interesting end to the year actually to be fair now i actually now we look at the whole year so let's look at sagittarius what's going on for you guys career-wise uh, this year and let's look at for us like what's going on wow for in december and uh, for the rest of us so in december we've got the ace of swords the king of swords so we've got two masculine energies we've got two um earth sign energies okay which is all about the conscious mind thoughts mind clarity consciousness communication so we're looking we're spending a lot more time toward the end of the year in our heads aren't we in our minds where we're thinking a lot where we're questioning a lot where we're where our, our perception is shifting now just looking at the astrology looking at the it's interesting to our perspective should shift all the time every month it should shift we should learn new and grow new every moon cycle doesn't always happen like that way because not everybody lives mindfully i do so it always happens for me um <laughs> something's big something small but ultimately this is about that clarity, that um, that mental clarity, and not only mental clarity when it comes to work for you, Scorpio, and when it comes to, for the month of uh, December for the rest of us, but also acting decisively, taking action, taking action, doing things, acting decisively. It means that that's a change that's come. It means that something brings about that change in you, in in you, Scorpio, and in the rest of us in the month of December. Something brings about this change for you in the month, in the year of 2020 for you, Scorpio, and in the month of December for us, because it brings about this this shift. Um, there's a there's a there's a there's a new beginning here with this energy, and something brings about this change for us where we start acting, behaving more decisively, where we start being more being tr more truthful and authentic in what we're saying and what we're doing um this, this is about the truth about cutting through the truth uh, and about a new authenticity so for you guys when it comes to your career Sagittarius this year is actually quite you're making some boss moves you're being very decisive and you're making some boss moves for the rest of us you know clarity does come for us and um, we can see clearly we get to see clearly to navigate our path in the month of December and um, it's interesting to see what this I don't know what this tarot is it can be anything it's going to be different for everybody but it is going to be a catalyst for movement for for growth and for new karmic cycles number eight and um, for new karmic cycles in in the year 2021 20, then because this is december isn't it so then finally oh look at this so we do get this new energy this new karmic cycles these we started here and we end in here this is so beautiful isn't it what a lovely end to the year we started with the full twice and we and we started with this six of swords and we're ending with the fool and the six of swords so it shows doesn't it the the balance that this year does actually bring us ultimately this year 2020 does bring a huge amount of balance for love sagittarius for you guys in the year of 2020 what this is showing is um a new beginning and again this shifting perspective when it comes to love when it comes to our our, our worthiness you know feeling worthy feeling lovable feeling good enough you know our shit our perspective shifts and your perspective shifts when it comes to um love in the in the year 2020 um sagittarius you're starting to realize that there is a new way that you can do a new way that you can exist a new way that you can love yourself and it's a beautiful message for you guys but also for for the rest of us non sagis because we can see that there's a there's an opportunity again for another new beginning you know we we've had we have that in 2019 we it, we have that in 2020 the awareness comes through for us and we can start you know we we're saying we're building on what we've learned in 2019 this year in 2020 so we're going forward into new territory with into calmer waters yes into new territories yes but with the wisdom that we've we take forward with us so that it's going to be a, a another year of, of 2020 is going to be another year of lessons but it's going to be a year where you see your own worth where you see your own value where you stop being in this instance committed to a way of thinking you know the things that have been suppressed the things that have been subconscious for you um, we can start to, you and we can start to change those things this this year there's a very contemplative mood for you Sagittarius in the year of 2020 generally speaking you're contemplating you you're trying to it's about it's quite a significant year of identity for you um Sagittarius I'll be interested to see if you look at your birth chart where um, you are and I'll also be interested to see what other transits what significance transits you have in your sign Sagittarius in the month of 
um, in the year 2020 because there seems to be a ponderance of this is time to change. And we've had, as I said, Capricorn uh, have been going through that in 2019. We all have to vary in varying degrees. And it's kind of moving on now. The energies are shifting to the to other zodiac signs like Sag, like Taurus in 2020, where we are, or, or you are, we are, being refined, being polished, being being polished by the universe, seeing ourselves, you know, a little bit more, the things that have been holding us back, the things that we've been holding on to, just releasing those things, one one tiny grain at a, a time, one grain of sand at a time, just releasing those, those, those pebbles from your pockets, you know, and becoming lighter and becoming freer and becoming more authentic and becoming more you. Um, you know, this really is a year to see your boundaries, to see your structures, to see what's important to you, to see where you want to go, to see where you want to head to, Sagittarius. But also for the rest of us as well, it's a it's it's a time to 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 take off the blindfolds and to see ourselves for real, for real, for real. And the way that we do that is by in inviting the karma you know recognizing that, the, that we're going to have experiences recognizing okay we're gonna have experiences and some of them are going to be great some of them are going to be not so great but recognizing that within each of those experiences there's a gem for me there's something i can take from that which is going to help me and that's the whole beauty of the number six the beauty of the number six the whole beauty of the number six is to, it gives you knowledge it gives you wisdom the experiences karmically give us wisdom in 2020 just like they always do but we're going to be shifting and transforming from the old ways of thinking, well, this I'm only capable of this. Well, you're going to see in 2020 that, that you, Sagittarius, and the rest of us, we're capable of far more than we ever believed. Okay, my darlings, I hope that you liked that extremely long, extensive reading. I'll have to cut it into bits and all that stuff. Um, thank you so much for being here, for joining me. Um, I hope that you come back and refer to these videos in their playlist. I hope you come back and refer to them during the course of the year, because actually it's been a it's been a huge labour of love. I mean, the full videos well over two hours, um. So you can imagine the intensity and the work that I've had to put in to be able to do this. And I'm not even sure I'm talking any sense to be honest with you. Um. Any final thoughts? Any final thoughts, I wonder? Um, we, that's always a good one to end with, the magician. I really feel like we're in a, in a, moving into a new territory now. And I think it's unknown territory, really. We've been evolving as a species, but, <laughs> there we go, let's celebrate. We've, we're moving into new territory um, in 2020, brand new territory. So that means new experiences for all of us. But things that we've engineered and engineered chronically, engineered because we've listened and responded and reacted to the experiences that we've been having. We've not just pretended that everything's fine. We've not just pretended that everything's the same as it was. We've moved with how we've grown. We've, we've, we've been stretching and we've been, we've been growing. And it's been a beautiful, it's been a, 2019 was difficult. It's been a, it's been a difficult time, it's been an intense time, but, but we know and hope that going forward through to 2020, we take the lessons with us in order to forward with us, in order to manifest the things that we need and that we want and that we desire. And just know that it's a year of success for sure. Um, but the success, the success comes from your engagement with your reality. You've got to engage. You've got to respond to what you're feeling, to the motivations that you're feeling. You've got to be truthful and honest with yourself. And that's what's going to bring about a huge amount of set cause for celebration, hopefully, and a huge amount of manifestation too. Okay, my darlings, thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful you will. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas because I put this up on Boxing Day, I think, because I'm just not going to have time to edit this before. Um, well, I'm, my Christmas starts now, basically. So I'm going to have to, it's going to take me ages to edit. So I'll edit this and I'll put it, upload it on Boxing Day. So you can watch it on Boxing Day. I hope you've had a lovely Christmas holiday. I hope you're having a fabulous, you know, time off with your family, with your friends, by yourself, whatever it is you're doing. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, time. Um, and I will see you all again in January with new readings. As I said to the um, fire signs um, 
Le Aries and Leo. I've done your January into February readings. You can watch those now if you like. The rest of the signs, I was trying to do those and then these wanted to come through. So I have to do these ones instead. I'll do the rest of those in January when I come back to Leeds. Okay, my darlings. Tiny. Tiny doggy. Say bye-bye. So we're saying bye-bye now. We've had a lovely time on Key Wisdom. You've been good to us, haven't you, Tiny? Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you. We will see you oh here he is we will see you tiny won't we sit down so they can see you we'll see you all again there he is we'll see you all again in 2020 with your brand new sun moon and star readings don't forget to follow me and tiny kiwis and Sarah on instagram and on facebook and check out if you haven't already your astrology my astrology playlist and my key wisdom playlist for everything mindfulness meditation reiki and tarot Happy New Year, happy holidays. Have a wonderful end to 2019 and a beautiful 2020. Take care, my darlings. Bye.